Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Thursday, December 17th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, guys, happy Thursday. We have some birthdays to announce that we missed from yesterday because of our snow day. And those birthdays are Lamar Brown and Bailey Wilson, both of whom are third graders. Happy birthday, guys. You got a snow day for your birthday. Congratulations. And then today's birthdays are Darren Chen and Whit Wilman. Happy birthday to you both as well. We hope you have a great day and you got a two hour delay for your birthday. All right, we have some actively engaged leopard leaders to share from both Wednesday and Thursday. So for Miss Croce's class, Shayla Shafiki has been doing such an amazing job of getting herself logged on for class and staying on for the whole time. When she's in class, she raises her hand to participate and loves to share with all of us the cute things her new baby sister is doing. Keep logging on, Shayla. We are proud of you. From Ms. Harwell's class, Nayana Gardner has been working super hard to be actively engaged. She loves to ask questions and share stories and waits patiently until she can, is called on to unmute. We can count on Nayana to get up and move during our dance breaks. We are happy she's part of our class. From Ms. Covington's class, Abby Mang is actively engaged each day in class. She shares interesting details during small group and loves her one-on-one -on -one time with her teachers, which she consistently attends. She is positive and encouraging and always wears a smile. From Ms. Matchin's class, Faith Poja has been actively engaged by logging into her, each of her Zoom sessions. When the teacher leading her math small group was not here, Faith asked if she could join my math group so she could play the math game with us. Keep up the great job, Faith. From Ms. Shapiro's class, Chimera Miles Monroe is actively engaged on our morning classes each day and is excited to share her thinking. Chimera shows she is actively engaged by keeping her camera on, raising her hand, showing signals to the answers, and using the chat. We love having Chimera in our class. Way to go, Chimera. And from Ms. Case's class, Leo Helinski is an actively engaged rock star. He focuses hard in class, shoots his hand up high when he wants to share, jumps up ready to move for wiggle breaks for PE, and does all of his independent work to the best of his ability with a touch of his personality mixed in. He attends all his classes with an eagerness to participate that is infectious. We love you, Leo. From Ms. Crawley's class, Lily Monagle has done a great job staying actively engaged, even when technology doesn't cooperate. She is always ready to share her thoughts and ask clarifying questions. Way to go, Lily. And from Ms. Rigobot's class, Ale Chavez Simota is actively engaged each day in class. She has a sweet personality that makes everyone smile. She also hangs and spends a little extra time with me. Great job, Ali, and great job to all of those actively engaged leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson Learning Leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Well, it looks like enough of us wore our pajamas backwards or put ice cubes in the toilet because we got a snow day yesterday, which was actually probably more like an ice day. So it makes me think maybe next time, I think we probably need to put fewer ice cubes in the toilet and maybe more of us need to wear our pajamas backwards and then maybe we'll get less ice and more snow next time. But either way, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday. All right, today's joke of the day comes from Remus Kawaji in Miss Rinkaboss class. What did the shark say when it ate the clownfish? What did the shark say when it ate the clownfish? Mm, this fish tastes a little funny. Get it? Clownfish, funny, tasted funny. Way to go, Remus. Thanks for sharing that one. Love it. Uh, that's all I've got today. I hope you guys have a thrilling Thursday and think about how you can roar today at your house or wherever you are. We love you and we will check you out tomorrow.